Yeah, everybody in this video I'll be showing you guys how to overclock your GPU and your CPU uh, or more like just overclocking your GPU do not overclock your CPU it's just not worth it so how we're gonna do this is quite simple we're gonna use a utility tool called MSI Afterburner uh, how we install it quite simple subscribe and look in the description of this video and it should take the first link should uh, bring it like bring you over here MSI Afterburner click on download extract it and download it simple rules then second thing you want to do is MSI uh, combustor you want to download this as well also in the description click on download click on download you want to click on this thing and then you want to click on download and then it will download it for you I'm gonna cancel it because I already downloaded it click on install and you should be done subscribe and now what you're gonna do you want to launch up afterburner like for me it's already launched here and when this launches it's probably gonna look like this uh, no settings yeah it's really gonna look like this uh, no, not this uh, it's probably gonna look like something like like gaming thing I don't know it's probably gonna look good I know which design you have but you can keep it to anyone for me I like the you can you can keep anything low-key I like this one like I like reddish you can choose this as well but um, I like this uh, and yeah that's quite simple uh, you can do that now you're here now if you're in laptop you can't control the fan speed but if you are in um, laptop I mean, if you're in PC, you can't control the fan speed. But if you're in laptop, you can't control your laptop's... One more sec. So, yeah. If you're in PC, you can control the fan speed and you can change this. If you're in laptop, you can't. I don't know why. You just can't. So, yeah. Um, before we do the overclocking, go to my YouTube channel and please, 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 please watch this thing. Underworld thing guide. If you do not do this, then overclocking is useless so make sure to uh what do you call it did a d troll stop make sure to enable the optimizations of troll stop or else this is just useless so yeah so simple forward when you have downloaded both utility tools uh, com uh with you uh, combustor you wanna click on the option here combustor before you do anything and just okay now you got two you got two of these you want to make sure this is in the first option this is in your GPU or like any this is on 1080p or in like 720p it doesn't matter and you want to click on run stretch like st stress now while this is running you can change a lot of settings in this one like for me I'll make it x4 and none just to make it a bit smoother uh, as you can see we're getting 110 fps like that so yeah now what we're gonna do is quite simple um now we're gonna do a simple thing it's gonna we're gonna overclock the core core like core clock uh we're gonna do this by 50 and click okay if it runs stable and it doesn't crashes or anything you're good to go then you want to do it again by 50 which is 100 yeah still running for me as you can see it's running fine then you want to do by 50 again 150 if it crashes you want to lower it to 100 if it doesn't crash in 120 then yeah you're good so yeah my one's still running at 150 then you want to do 200 if it runs if it doesn't run at 150 you can try like raising it by like 10 so like 160 if it doesn't run if it doesn't run at 160 try 151 if it does run 151 then just put 150 that's your max you can go for me the max I can go is um stable is uh 239 that's the max I can go so I click that as you can see we got like an increase in FPS and then we got memory clock we're gonna overclock this as well um so yeah uh now what we're gonna do we're gonna do 100 keep increasing this by 100 FPS boost like we get more FPS then we're gonna do 
200. For dash runs, you're good. 96, 97. Then we got 300. For me, I already know, like, I can increase it to 490-ish. If it doesn't run at 500, like for me, it will crash at 500. If it doesn't crash, I know in games it will crash. So, yeah. Memory clock for me, I don't know why. It, I can just put it at 1000, nothing happens. But it increases my FPS. So, I can put it to like 1000, no worries. But for you, if it crashes, then you gotta lower it to like, yeah. Uh, but clock, core clock, if you, if you do it too high, like for me, I'm gonna do this to like two f like two sixty. Combustor will crash, your like screen will like die for like two seconds. But then it will come back. And then you gotta like make it lower. So yeah. For me I know two thirty nine works best. So I'm gonna do that. And as you can see, I know GP temps are going higher. But the main thing is you're getting more FPS. So that's the main thing. And now before you do anything, click on this option start up go here click on start with windows and it will start every time you open your laptop which is quite cool uh keep in mind here you can even do like you can monitor your gpu temps for like uh, for me i can do this as you can see you can monitor your gpu temps if you don't like this you can click on the like you can make a shortcut to cut it so yeah that's quite cool so basically that runs pretty well but before you do any of this, please, please, please watch the Underworld thing guide. If you don't do this, your GPU will die. I'm telling you guys, like right now, your GPU will die. Please watch this. And that's all. That's how you overclock your laptop or your PC. And it runs pretty well. So yeah, subscribe. Thank you very much. You can watch one of these videos. And it runs pretty well in my opinion. So yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.